report from optionpit.com. It is I, Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of optionpit.com. Uh, our, we're doing our second year of the Vol Newsletter. The first year went pretty well. Uh, hopefully the second year will go even better. If you want, you can subscribe. Some of the goodies you get, positions, uh, all the trades, all the positions that we've done, everything is dated. Um, one I think the great features is a video archive of almost every vol condition that exists for the last year. Uh, so there's probably 50 videos in here. Um, so you go to our uh, webpage, go to the store or uh, memberships and subscribe. Uh, great deal on learning how to trade volatility. All the distilled, all the distilled wisdom option pit has on trading volatility in one place. Um, so what's going on? Um, today, I think that's mostly just sort of a letdown day. There was no uh no let's just call it no real deal for north korea we thought that could be a, a slight positive didn't happen uh the testimony i don't think really helped but didn't really hurt either it wasn't great but i don't think it i think it if anything it might have added a little uncertainty or not small balance gdp number wasn't bad so what you got is a recipe for everything just is not bad but not super duper we still don't have the trade deal even though uh at least for now the tariffs got taken off the table but that doesn't mean they can't get thrown on the table again so as far as interesting trades go we'll look at time spreads again um i just think it's hard for vix to drop maybe more than a point in the next one to two weeks so time spreads would work a little better. There are some decent ones. Um, as far as stocks go, we can take a look at Tesla and see if there's some trade in there. It's been moving a lot on the news. Um, the on again, off again stuff with Elon Musk. Um, from a vol point of view or vol product point of view, uh, like the vol products, they're decaying. Um, but this is where I would call, they're kind of stuck because they're, they really don't have what I would call a normal uh, future premium. It's a little inexpensive, so they tend to move a little slower. So if you're looking for like a hot move in the vol products, I don't really see it unless there's some sort of outstanding news one way or the other. But for right now, it's, it's gonna kind of sit and be a malaise market. That's what we have. So um, one thing we will be doing in our masterclass, which is coming up, I believe, in a few weeks, um, is I'm gonna we're gonna use that masterclass to detail how to trade also an out of favor group. So I think this the uh, uh, we're starting March 19th. We're gonna push it back a little bit, but if you look at like say um, um, you know the drug stock group right they haven't done anything in a long time congress is kind of pounding on them um and as we know from history you know groups that you know this stock's almost down 50 percent from its highs um so groups that the market doesn't like usually that doesn't last very long um or doesn't last indefinitely um so it is possible these could perk back up again which would make I would say good long-term trade candidates, not very good short-term trade candidates. So our masterclass will, will focus on this group pretty specifically, like how do you put on positions for better yield and very high potential returns in the future using options in a variety of ways. So you've got a group that looks beaten down, you wanna set up for like a long-term big kill, on the upside and hedge downside and i think the drug stocks make a perfect match and in the meantime it just might not do much as congress sort of pounds on them so you know i, I think it makes an ideal candidate for our master class and uh, that's what it will be focused on so if you have questions you can write me andrew at optionpit.com you can write leisha at optionpit.com you can write mark at optionpit.com that's leisha l-i-c-i-a 
and not expecting much today, even in tomorrow, without any real new news. So kind of a listless day, I would say. All right, everybody, have a good one, and we will talk to you later.